San Luis Obispo County leaders are looking to increase rainfall amounts to fill the Lopez Lake Reservoir. KSBY's Megan Healy joins us live in Arroyo Grande to break down cloud seeding and what it means for water users. Megan? Well, Richard, cloud seeding has been used in the state for decades, and the process doesn't create weather, it rather enhances it. Well, the SoCal County Board of Supervisors recently approved a winter cloud seeding project that could add millions of gallons of water to the Lopez Lake Reservoir and supply thousands of homes. Maybe we can't create weather, but what if we could enhance it to increase our water supplies? It's called cloud seeding, and it looks like this silver iodide released by ground dispensers or planes. We would add the seeding particles to an oncoming storm front. Seeded particles will just interact with the water droplets, would cause the water droplets to clump together, increasing their size and weight. And then once that happens, it'll fall as rain. It's one of the many ways to enhance Slow County's water resources. I kind of re related it to Native Americans doing a uh, rain dance. Some five cities residents who get their water from the reservoir say more is needed. Something that everybody has to keep in mind, especially here on the West Coast. But how much more are we talking? Imagine 326,000 football fields, each covered in an inch of water. 3,000 acre feet would essentially supply 6,000 homes with water. There is a concern the seeding agent, silver iodide, is toxic in large amounts, but studies show there is no significant environmental impact with the amount used for cloud seeding. So when it goes back into the environment after it's done its job, it would essentially look like a tiny dust particle or a sand particle. So even if a fish were to ingest it, it would just pass it through unharmed. The nearly $235,000 project covers the 2020 winter season and is paid with the overall Zone 3 budget. Now, Santa Barbara County has been using this process, this method, since the 1980s and since then has seen a 10 to 20 percent increase in rainfall over targeted areas. But there are a number of studies that question the effectiveness of cloud seeding. Reporting live in Arroyo Grande, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. All right, Megan, thank you. County water experts say they are ready to test cloud seeding during the next storm.